Hi y'all, welcome back to The Melting Pot. I um, almost forgot the name of my own channel. Oh my god, I'm so tired tonight. Um, I was planning a bridal shower for my little sister and I had 10 hours of work today, so I'm a little out of it. But somewhere in a mess that, that was my day today, I received a new package. Um, it's a small haul this time and it is from a new to me vendor. I have not ordered from her before. I have seen the website about six months ago. It was the first time I ran across her. I think I watched somebody else's haul and I debated ordering from her and then I didn't. I don't remember why. But anyway, um, she does a lot of advertising on the wax groups on Facebook and she posted a picture of one of her items and she she does good at advertising because I that's why I ordered. There was this chunk that I'll show you in a few minutes that I really, really thought was cool. Um, and that's why I ordered. So, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Um, she is Michelle Holt, and she runs um, Closet Full of Wax. And it's right here. You can see it. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Closetfullofwax.com. So, I'm going to link that below in the video so you um, can check her out. Her website's pretty nice. She has a ton of sense. Um, put that there. Um, she has a ton of sense. They uh, they do like trunks, shots, tarts, shapes. She has a ton of cute shapes. So it's a pretty cool website. I um, think she does custom blend a lot of things. Believe her chunks. You could do up to four cents. And she does loaves, and you could do up to four cents in those. And she also has blended chunks ba chunk bags, which is what I got. And she does like little chunky guys, which I think are different than the chunk blends that she does in the bag. I'm not sure, but I think they're different because they're two different listings. So, yeah, a lot of different things. And she, I've heard really, really good things. So she's changed her formula a little bit. So if you've ordered from her before and you didn't think it was that great, I guess I should encourage people to try and order again because a lot of people have been saying pretty good things about her. So I'm super excited about this. It is slightly smaller than my usual hauls. And, um, and yes, I'm going to get right into it. So this is how it came. It came in one of these um, like flat rate boxes, whatever. And I will... Oop, the card just fell. Um, yeah. So it came in that, and then the card came with it. So, and then on the back, there's a little note, and it says, "Thank you for your order, and please allow your loaves up to two weeks to cure." Enjoy, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle, for this. Um, she sent it in like with tons of tissue paper, and I'm totally gonna reuse this tissue paper for Christmas. So just so y'all know, I'm cheap like that. Okay, and it came like fully wrapped, and she sent freebies. So give me a couple minutes and I will actually uh, get rid of the box and get everything set up. All right. Okay, now everything's set up. As you can see, it's a small order. Um, I got two over one pound loaves and a bag of the blended chunks. And this whole order with shipping retailed about $48. So that gives you an idea. Her loaves are about 16 bucks each. And then these bags are like 14, 13 or 14. So she did send freebies. I initially thought that there was just three. But as I was unwrapping this, I actually found a fourth. So she sent four freebies. They're like slices. So I'm going to start with those real quick. First one is ooey gooey coconut lemon bread. And I'm really excited about this one because I actually wanted to try it. And I was going to buy two bags of the blended chunks, but then I didn't. So, this one smells like, it smells like lemon and coconut. It's really, really good. Um, not much to say about that. You get more lemon to me. There's more lemon than coconut, and I don't get a bread note in this. This is like really, really nice. Oops, yeah. So, that's that one. And then the next one is something that I actually already had in one of my blends. This is absolutely fabulous cake, but I'm very curious to smell it on its own um, because I have it blended in a loaf. And this smells... Uh, there's like a weird... 
I don't even know how to describe it. It smells like, like corn chips a little bit. It has like a weird corn chip scent to it. Um, yeah, but it's still pretty good. Definitely doesn't smell like cake to me that much. It smells good. It's, it just doesn't smell like your normal cake scent. That's all. Here's one that I did not like. The Serendipity Bubblegum. Now, it's probably just my nose. But, yeah, I'm not a big fan of this one. It's pretty, though. Yay. Uh, to me, this smells like Serendipity. And that's it. I don't smell any bubble gum. There's definitely, this does not smell like gum. So if you're looking for a scent on cold, it actually smells like, um, just serendipity. Like nothing, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Just serendipity. Maybe slightly sweet, but I definitely do not get a gum scent. Now, if this is what it's supposed to smell like, that's fine. I mean, these things haven't cured. I don't know. But I ordered a serendipity bubble gum from I Heart Wax. And that should be coming in the next few days, so I'll be able to compare and see if it's just me that doesn't like it or if there's if it smells differently from different vendors. But yeah, anyway, Serendipity Bubblegum, not a big fan. And then the last one is Chocolate Decadent Frangelico Strusel. So I'm expecting that I will not like this because I don't normally like super heavy chocolate scents. So I'm going to open this up. And these came like slightly smeared and stuck to the bags and that's just because uh it's getting warmer okay this smells like you definitely get chocolate there's like a cake note in this and it's really really to me it's really heavy on this spice if you breathe it in too much it makes me want to sneeze um so and it has a slight like alcohol component to it so definitely like an interesting one I don't necessarily know if I'm gonna like it warm uh, we'll see um, but Michelle thank you so much for the freebies um, there are actually three that I prob I would have probably ordered the ooey gooey coconut lemon bread on its own but I would not have tried the other three um, so I appreciate the the freebies a lot thank you so much now the next thing that I got, I'm going to move these loaves, these epic loaves out of the way so my camera doesn't like fall over. That would be really bad. Okay. So I got this. It's a bag of strawberry coconut cream bread. Now this is the one that I saw on Facebook that I really liked. And I'm going to open this little bakery bag. It's a little bakery bag with like, you know how they have those like win windows. It's such a cute packaging. I love, love, love this packaging. So yeah, I'm going to open this up. It smells fantastic like you open it up you get that hit of strawberry and it's slightly creamy and then you get that coconut and the bread is very 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 faint oh okay see how like they're stuck together because of the heat I gotta break them apart yeah okay so this is what it looks like and I mean it's a huge chunk, like, they're huge chunks. This kind of fell off, but that's whatever. Um, so, this is not, like, this is two melts worth. For me, I would cut this chunk in half. Okay, so I get uh, another one like that. It's, like, massive. And then, so they all, they're all about that size. I'd say they're all, like, four to five ounces. And there is, like, an insane amount in here. Well, not insane, but you get, like, this is enough for three melts. Okay. And then I got one more in here. This is enough for three melts. This is seriously one of the biggest chunks of wax I've ever seen in my whole life. And, yeah, it's a really nice strawberry. And the, the bread is there. The more I sniff it, the more I can smell the bread. Um, but it's definitely not the predominant note. So if you're concerned that this smells too much like bread, like, I'm just going to 
when it's this okay so because it's not super strong on the bread and um the coconut's really nice but the dominant note in this is strawberry and it is a nice strawberry it's not it actually smells like um you know when you get fresh strawberries and you add a little bit of sugar and you pu puree them i actually do that i make my own um freezer pops like fruit pops and that's what it smells like it smells like strawberry puree so it's really nice it's not a fresh strawberry scent at least to me it's not it just smells like that strawberry puree with a little bit of sugar and you get that coconut you get the bread so it's a seriously good blend kick ass all right um so i'm very very excited about that because definitely definitely um exactly what i had hoped so strawberry coconut cream bread now i'm gonna pull these out of their bag and they came with twist ties, not twist ties but like they came like with ribbon but i pulled the ribbon i cut the ribbon off i'm going to uh use i think like twist ties from front porch because i have like a ton so now like again these loaves are gorgeous they're like i said they melted a little bit but that's not her fault that's just weather so this is my first one, and I did both of them in four different scents. So this one's in lemon pound cake, pink sugar, wild berry mousse, and toasted marshmallow, which are four of my freaking favorite scents ever. Okay, so this is what it looks like. My hands are covered with this stuff. Now, you can request on our website, glitter or no glitter, because I know some people say they hate glitter because it gets in the way of their melting. I should have been born a drag queen. I love glitter. <laughs> I love glitter. So, for me, um, yeah, a lot of glitter. This is what it looks like. So there's, I don't know if you can see it. The pink is like bright, hot pink. Like th these loaves, like the loaf that I got from Happy Hippie the other day was more of a pastel green and pink. These are like bright in your face. Uh, like they're just I don't even know if the camera can catch all this, but yeah. So this is what it looks like. It's definitely over a pound, and there's chunks all over it, and you can see the glitter. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Love, love, love the way these look. So, yeah. And I think the bottom right down here is um is a wild berry mousse, and then this is the pink sugar, and then I think there's chunks of marshmallow and lemon on here. I don't know what it's like in the middle, so I'm pretty excited to, to see like what it's going to be like in the middle. So, yeah. That's my first one. And I will put it in a bag when this video is over. And then my, and this, and actually out of the two loaves, this is my favorite. I love pink sugar. Okay. And the second one, I'm getting so old I can't remember what I ordered anymore. I think I did a pretty good job though. And people were asking me on the, and I think I got it right. Yeah. All right. So the second one is an absolutely fabulous cake, Fruit Loops. Cotton candy and vanilla bean Noel. Cotton candy and Fruit Loops are two of my uh, favorites, and I wanted the I wanted a loaf that blended like twelve cents together. I know that's ridiculous, but yeah. So this is just as cute as the other one, as you can see. It's got stars. I'm gonna try to yeah see stars, Jimmy's like it's a freaking ice cream sundae, and again those chunks and the glitter. I'm a glitter whore. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so. This is what it looks like. And I think I like it. It smells so good. It does have like that. It has like cotton candy in it. And it has the, you can smell the vanilla bean Noel. And, um, God, Fruit Loops. That's why it smells fruity. Forgive me. I'm so, I'm, yeah. There's. You can smell the Fruit Loops is in the middle. I think the Fruit Loops is the yellow on the bottom. There you go. And then, like, there's the cake blended in chunks on top. Yeah, because I get that weird corn chip scent. And um, the cotton candy makes it sweet. And the vanilla bean Noel makes it really creamy. So, I'm actually... I mean, I'm, I'm pleased with the order. Absolutely. I, I, I love this loaf better. I love the, the yellow... And I love this one, like, I like the scents better than um, this other one because I just, I don't know that I love her absolutely fabulous cake. That's all. I mean, it's good, but I think next time, if I was going to do this again, I'd do a regular cake. Yeah. 
So, awesome, awesome. Thank you, Michelle. You did a beautiful job. Uh, yeah. She did a great job. I love everything. Thank you for the freebies. Um, what else do I want to say about her? Oh, her turnaround time is ridiculous. Like, I ordered, she started pouring the night that I ordered, and then it was here like four days later, so not even a week. And in a time where like a lot of vendors are, you know, struggling to make turnaround time, like, it's really nice to once in a while just have an order come to you in five days. I don't mind waiting. Ask anybody. Um, I've waited forever for you know, good wax. And I don't care. I'd never, like once I place an order, I want it. Like, I'm, it doesn't matter to me how long I have to wait. But I'm really, really excited about vendors who can get stuff out to you right away. So anyway, now I'm going to wash this wax off my hands because it's like everywhere. Glitter, look at that glitter. Yay. Um, glitter, glitter everywhere. And I'm going to go wash my hands. And yeah, if you have any questions, comments, you can leave them below, message me, whatever. I'll let you know what I you know, think once I cure them. The card said I should wait two weeks. I might wait three. Um, we'll see what happens. But yeah, super excited about the order. Everything is beautiful. Um, they're just great. I love, love the way these look. So yeah. All right. I guess I'll talk to y'all later. I have a couple more hauls coming, so I'm sure you'll hear from me soon. Hope everybody's doing well, and I'll catch y'all later. Bye.